This is among the 18 camps where 120,000 Rohingya and other displaced Muslims have had to live after their homes were raised by Buddhist mobs. Denied citizenship, the Rohingya live in prison-like conditions with no access to health care, work or education. Women and girls are especially affected by restrictions. They face daily struggles because of the acute hygiene and sanitation conditions. For us, living in camps is very difficult. Camp conditions easily affect our health, but here it's very difficult to get medical treatment. No doctors are available. If a pregnant woman faces difficulties delivering a baby and needs to look for a clinic, she can lose her baby. Myanmar's de facto leader Aung San Suu Kyi and her government say they are acting on recommendations handed down by the international advisory Kofi Annan Commission. These include investing in infrastructure to help lift both the Rohingya and Buddhist communities out of poverty. But the Rohingya and human rights groups have slammed the government for its current policy that they say only entrenches segregation and does not focus on talks about citizenship. Authorities are currently building permanent housing next to camp fences and in some flood-prone areas. Struggling to survive the bleak conditions in camps, some women are so desperate for their children to go to school that they will trade their ration cards to other refugees in the camps and go without food. Living in the camp is like living in a prison or a chicken coop. It's not appropriate for teenagers, married parents, and elders to live inside a small room. Many mothers say their one hope is for their children to live peacefully in the community again. Catherine Gibson, BOA News.